intro and um I've been actually very, very impressed with Brian's success, you know, coming in here and, uh, you know, just a, a matter of a couple of days, you know, he's uh, learning, he, he sends me screenshots every single day, <laughs> you know, hey, you know, does this look good? Does this look bad? You know, what can I do? And one of the biggest things before we just jump in here is, you know, um, this skill set is uh, very beneficial um, to diversify, you know, and, and with all that being said, you know, I'm going to show you guys really how to, how it all works. And um, a lot of you guys are already pretty successful with already what you're doing now. Um, and this could be a, a great opportunity to plug in hour and a, hour and a half a day, get your money, be done with the day and uh, move on. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm just going to talk about briefly about myself uh, for a couple, you know, a minute or two, you know, just to show you that anybody can do this. Uh, for you guys that don't know, my name is Luke Longmire. I've been trading for about almost six, about five, six years now. And I was actually a general manager at a gold gym before I got involved in this. And I absolutely love what I did. I was working at a gym, making six figures. You know, I was self-employed though. And um, with that being said is, you know, it gets to a point where, you know, um, you, you, you cap out, you can't grow any higher. You know, and uh, I didn't know what to do. I prayed, prayed, prayed. And uh, next thing you know, I got introduced to this in 2016. You know, a year later from when I got started, retired myself, two years retired my wife, moved out to Cali, you know, and I uh, also came out here to Miami, multiple seven figure earner and all that jazz. Uh, but the important part that I wanted to share with you about that is you don't need an MBA degree. You don't need to have any um, prerequisite you know, uh, when it comes to like school, I, I, I'm not that smart, you know, when it comes to school stuff. Um, you know, I, I barely graduated high school. I, I dropped out of college and uh, even going back into my um, my story, if you will, you know, I actually went to rehab halfway house in and out of jail, did a, a year in jail um, and all of that. And uh, like I said, uh, um, if you put in the work, you know, you're consistent with it, you can and will have success. But, you know, it also comes down to, to that is, you know, are you going to show up to the session? So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to do this a little bit. Um, I come so I come from a uh, network marketing background. This is part network marketing, but I want to be very clear. You do not have to talk to a soul. Um, 80 85% of the company do not talk to anyone. They learn the skill, they make money, they go on with life and so forth. If you want to do the network marketing, that is a whole different income stream. So I just want to make it adamantly clear that you don't have to talk to anyone, you don't have to do anything, but you know, if that resonates with you, you can definitely do so. So I'm going to hop back and forth from a website and um, this, uh, um, I'm going to skip the hype and and I'm probably I'm going to skip a little bit of this just because you guys are already at that level of knowledge. You know, what I mean by that is this part right here, you know. Um, so I'm going to kind of skip the, the fluff and the rah, rah, the hype and just kind of get straight to it. So 95% of the world's income is owned by the 5%. You have four different quadrants. You have the employed um, employee, which is 60%, business owner, 4%, investor, 1%, self-employed, 35%. So I'm not going to go super in-depth and, you know, hype it up and everything. It's just pretty straightforward. You guys are, are, are pretty successful in what you guys already do now, so you understand that. Um, like Brian talked about, you know, working with Bob Proctor, this is, you know, one of Bob, what Bob teaches. Once again, I'm going to skip this. You know, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. You guys already know that. Um. So what we offer is the foreign exchange market, which is uh, trade one currency for another. So essentially what that means, you know, in depth is if I go to Canada with $1,000 and I spend, you know, $1,000 um, on my credit card, but I, I, before I do that, I have cash, right? I exchange 1,000 American into Canadian, but I use my credit card the whole time. After that three days, week, whatever, I have that thousand Canadian and I, I'm like, OK, well, I got this cash. I got to exchange it back to American USD um, and I get twelve hundred back. I'm like, well, how is this possible? I gave you a thousand. A few days later, I get twelve hundred. I made two hundred dollars profit. Well, the market goes up and down every single second. And uh, we'll do a Q&A, like Brian said. We'll also do a little training on here. I'll keep it fairly surface level. So the brand new people on here um, aren't too confused or anything. Uh, what we also do is DCX, which is digital currency, uh, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. Uh, we have an amazing, um, you know, I, I 
I'm really good, if you will, on the Forex and um, uh, digital. That's my specialty of teaching people how to day trade, whether it's Forex or crypto uh, and invest. But then there's a whole different ball game um, um, in the same, you know, vertical, if you will, with NFTs, right? I'm not the, the, the most uh, knowledgeable when it comes to NFTs, but we have top educators that are the experts, you know, on the NFT side to teach you, you know, what axes are, NFTs, how to create an NFT, you know, how to take advantage of it, and so forth, right? High frequency Forex, this is binary options, uh, which is time-based trading, meaning you're in and out of trade uh, within one minute, three minute, or five minute. And then we have drop shipping, which is Shopify as well. Once again, I am not that expert, but we do have people that uh, teach you how to build, build a store, uh, create a store, and then uh, how, to, how to sell the products. I already broke this down. Um, very, very simple. If you buy right here, it goes up, you make money. If you sell right here, it goes money. You don't have to hold on to any, um, you don't have to hold on to any, um, you don't have to buy it to sell it, right? It's not stocks. Stocks is easily manipulated. Um, it's also, um, you know, it's to, due to the company, you know, if this, something goes crazy with the company, the owner, you know, staff or whatever, that's going to manipulate it. Well, the market with Forex, um, it doesn't matter if it's going up or down. Same thing with crypto. Most people think you all have to buy and hold the crypto, but that's actually false. You can day trade it. You know, people are selling at 66,000 and went down to 60, you know, they made X amount of money there as well. Um, HFX, we don't really focus on this. Um, this is a, a diversification. Uh, it's a negative risk reward. So I don't, I, I don't really put anybody on this unless this is just something you're super interested in. Um, and I'll go over the risk reward once we get to the, the training side. All right. I'm gonna skip this part. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the academy and actually show you guys. This is me speaking. Uh, this is one of our crypto apps. You can actually download my app and this one. Um, so this is Swipe Coin. This is our crypto app, literally copy and paste and make money. So while you, you know, most of you guys are business owners, you know, successful in what you guys are already doing, you have your, your bread and butter, your main focus. So what this is going to do once, you know, not once, but um, one vertical is learning. But secondly, this is the copy and paste part. So while you're at the, the gym, you know, in between a meeting, maybe add a meeting, check on your phone. Um, you get a notification to your phone. It's going to say buy here, sell here. Um, and get out at this point. So you just follow instructions. You do need to know like the foundation, like risk reward and stuff, but it's pretty straightforward. Just copy and paste the entry and exit points. Um, ECX, which I mentioned, this is drop shipping. Uh, if you ever heard of Amazon, um, you know, and Walmart, you know, you can create an e-commerce store online. You're basically, look, you're basically the middleman from the consumer to uh, the wholesaler, right? And you're making a profit. You know, you buy something for a hundred bucks, Usually the profit margins are 10, 15%. So you would sell that item for 110, 115, pretty straightforward there. And like I said, write your questions down. If, you know, definitely ask no questions are bad or anything like that. And I'm going to go to the back end here. We have over 200 educators. We're probably at like 150 now. Um, we cut down a little bit. Um, and then, you know, every language from Hindu to Arabic um, to Portuguese to Spanish, obviously, English, you know, Polish, all around the world. There's probably... Um, we eclipsed almost 400,000 students. I would say we're probably about like 300 and some change, 300,000 students worldwide. This is my app called Gold Cup. Basically the same thing, which I mentioned the swipe point, copy and paste. You can download this from your iPhone or Android um, to literally just, you know, what, you know, earn while you learn and make money while you're out and about. Um, boom, boom, we'll skip that. Very simple with our memberships. Um, I would recommend the Elite. It's three twenty-five to start, two seventy-five per month. Um, so what you're getting is the education to learn the skill, the products to make money, uh, the live sessions, which is um, I, I, mean, I can't put put as uh, enough emphasis on the live sessions because you're you're based, it's just like Zoom, just like this. I'm teaching, I'm coaching. You have multiple educators, not only myself, but on like the, when I was talking about the NFT space, right? DeFi, if you ever heard of that, you know, I, I'm very knowledgeable in that, but like there's people that are the me over there. I can teach you how to invest in crypto, which cryptos to, to get into, and especially on the day trading side. But when it comes to, you know, NFTs and DeFi and, you know, uh, nodes, if you ever heard of those, um, that's really where our experts are on that side is. 
Um, so two set 325 to start, 275 per month. This is the referral program. Once again, 100% optional, but if this resonates with you, you know, it'll make sense. Refer two people into the company, you now have a free membership. Very straightforward. As long as those two people are paying, you have a free membership. Residual income side, I won't spend too much on this. Three people, you know, three direct referrals, you're making 150 a month. This is a total team once it gets to 12 and down. This is uh, how many people you're referring, um, plus, you know, whoever you refer, who they refer, who they refer, hence network marketing, all right? Um, you know, 75 people is two grand a month, you know, and 500 people is 10 grand a month and so forth, so forth, so forth. Um, Bob Proctor's, uh, one of Bob Proctor's top students, Alex Moore, if you guys know who he is, he's actually above this. Um, he's a chairman, 1 million, by like 1.5 ish a month and so forth. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to actually show you guys the back end side, right? So this is your, your dashboard, if you will, right? This is the academy. So if you're like, well, Luke, I don't even know where to start. Like, uh, I'm not, I'm not hip to really anything that like, this is where you start. Um, so you would come down here, obviously you pick your language, right? What is Forex? The history of Forex. So literally you're learning your ABCs, right? What is trading view? Trading view is where we chart and everything, broker versus trading platform. I mean, just literally what is a pit percentage and point? What is a lot size? Literally the basics, right? So I, I can explain like this. I'm learning Spanish right now, right? I'm not, I, I'm not fluent. I, I'm, I wouldn't even consider myself butchered Spanish. Like I, I can pick out words here and there and so forth. So Right now I'm learning words, I'm creating sentences, right? But before that I was learning ABCs, you know, un, una, la, right? Uh, L, and if you don't know what Spanish is, I apologize there. Um, so my, my point is you're learning learning the, the foundation, the basics, then you get to, it's called the, the 200 series, right? That's where you're gonna learn um, more so like the, the intermediate and then you have the advanced. And then right over here, this is, uh, it's called Go Live, which is just like Zoom, right? Uh, very straightforward. So my app, once again, is Gold Cup. And this is, um, hands down, this is the, the sauce, right? You don't, there's so many ways to make money with this company and such, but really the, what you want to do is go through the academy, step one, well, you need a broker, but step one on the education side is go through the broker or go get the broker set up and then go through the academy. And then right here, I have a five day boot camp under my favorite section, right? The first one is more, you know, like Bob Proctor, Kevin Trudeau, you know, the mindset and everything, because these charts are so simple, right? I, I, I'm probably, if not the best at breaking these down in the company um, as a very um, simple way, right? Trading is as simple as you make it. You can have all these indicators and Fibonacci and, you know, all these, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just indicators on the chart. I trade naked. I trade institutional. So I trade like the banks, right? So right here is a trading plan. You want to have a plan, psychology, right? Just like with success, you know, it's 95, 90% plus, you know, give or take on uh, 95, 90, you know, everybody has a different 90 plus, but same thing with trading, right? The charts is the 10%, the 5%, the, the psychology is really what is uh, quote unquote the hard part. Um, but where, you know, I come in is you're getting myself three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we do, you know, Zooms like this. I, I love teaching, you know, because this skill set, you know, completely shift in my life. I don't ever have to rely on, you know, a company, um, anything, right? I, I'm, this is it. You know, if, it, if everything else goes away, I still have the skill for the rest of my life. Um, and then you can always get the recorded sessions right here. So a lot of the plays that happen, right, they'll happen either on the session or right after the session. So we'll kind of, I'm gonna go over here really quick and then we'll do some Q and A. But essentially this is like what happened this morning. And I'll go over um, this with you. And this probably won't make sense if this is your first time seeing this, but this is exactly what happened this morning. And we'll act like this hasn't happened yet. And uh, for you guys that are brand new, you know, this won't make sense. Don't feel overwhelmed or anything, right? We have a zone right here. We have a zone right here. It's called supply and demand, um, more or less. And then right here, what we're looking for is I, this is exactly what I do. 
we're looking for this. Oops, not that part. And then it's called take profits. Um, take profits, meaning when price gets to this level, it automatically takes you out and you collect your profit. And then the stop loss is there for you to protect your account, right? You don't want to just trade with uh, no stop losses, meaning, you know, if the trade is a losing trade, you cut off the finger to save the hand, right? So this is your stop loss. If the trade goes bad, you risk one, we'll get into the education here in a second, but um, if the trade goes bad, you know, you cut off the finger to save the hand and then your targets are here. So this played out perfectly, you know, once again, right, boom, there's your entry right here. It broke out, it retested, pushed up, all right? Smacked all of our targets. People made, you know, depending on their account size, five bucks, 500, 5,000, 50,000, 500,000, et cetera, um, and so forth. So that's pretty much the gist, you know, one, it's education to learn a skill set, you know, to, to really learn. Um, and then with that, you have a whole academy. Number one, number two is you have the live sessions. Number three is you have my boot camp. Number four, you have these bonus sessions for me to hop on here, do some more intimate, you know, not one on one, but 15 on one, if you will, to help you guys, you know, then we have the copy paste. So if you're busy during that time, you know, you can copy and paste and make money with the, my apps. And then also we're well, not my gold cup app and then the crypto app as well. Um, I just want to show you guys, a lot of you guys, well, not just you on here, a lot of people want to learn crypto and, and I'm, you know, I'm the same thing on the trading side of the Forex. That's me on the crypto, just not with uh, the two, um, the two things I mentioned, which is NFTs and then also DeFi. So if you come over here and we go over the DCX section and uh, we'll do the Q and a right after this, I show, I just want to, this is like, I don't know how much you guys believe in crypto, but um, this is a game changer, right? So intro to DeFi. So I just want to teach you what it is. Essentially, um, what DeFi is in very surface level is it's a, you, you create your own bank with Bitcoin. And now you can lend out your Bitcoin, right, to people or to yourself, you know, um, and create an interest off that, you know, and that's a very surface level, but they go in depth. You know, beginner altcoins, you know, a lot of these coins are at a half a cent, one cent, two cent, a dollar, five dollars, and they go to ten dollars and a hundred dollars. That's a hundred X. That's 20 X. There's a couple coins um, I actually didn't invest. It's called Kishu. It went up by 800 percent. High risk, high reward, but it went up 800 percent last 36 hours. Um, this is one of our educators, Crypto Picasso. He's a nine figure earner. Um, on this, this is one of our really great tr uh, trainers as well, Kurt Cobain. Um, he goes over like the digital exchange when it comes to like Kraken, how to stake coins, get 10% a month. Just it's a whole other world. All right. So I just want to go over that because, you know, um, I'm not sure what you guys believe in, but I can, you know, biasly um, tell you guys that this is this is the future here. So with all that being said, um, we'll do some Q and A and everything. If you want me to touch on some subjects, subjects and go deeper, like I said, I wanted to skip the fluff and the rah rah and you know all that jazz because you guys are already either in the content with Bob or successful in your own way. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that, Luke. And uh, yeah, I just like to open up for a Q and A based on uh, what you guys saw. Um, more than half of you guys are already in, um, you know, day trading with us and 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 doing that. So. Um, but what questions do you guys have for Luke about the platform or trading or, or how it works? So, hey, it's just John. And hey, Luke, hey, I started working with you on, you know, earlier this, last week. So I appreciate that. Um, so I started doing the HFX thing about two months ago. And you're absolutely right. It's a higher, higher risk, lower reward kind of thing. And so I started with a thousand bucks. I'm down to 850. So it's not working out for me right now. Um, and I was looking for something else. And I've noticed that it's the same platform, the HFX is, and, the, and what you're talking about how do I add what you're talking about onto mine? Is it pretty simple? So you would just upgrade your uh, membership to elite and then you'll okay. have all of it. Um, you know, right, and um, what I would recommend, you know, just being, I'm very straightforward as you guys work with and I'm very blunt. Um, I, I would not do uh, HFX. Um, it's a name, you're risking a dollar to make 80 cents. That's just right. not smart. Um, where what I teach is you're risking a dollar to make three, a dollar to make four. 
So it's a, yeah, I can go two and two, 50%, where you're losing money now at two and two, where I'm go at two and two, I risk one to make three. So I'm up 3%. I win another trade, I'm up 3%. Then I take two losses. So I'm up still 4% uh, going on two and two. And I'll show you how to tweak those numbers here in a second after the Q&A. Great. Right. Yeah, I'll add that on. Thank you. No, yeah, one, one last the, question. One of the reasons. Can I use the um, same? Oh, good. Yeah, I said, do I use the same broker? I do need to set up a different broker. No, you want to, I would withdraw your money from, you know, whatever broker. You're going to put it into a, a Forex, Forex broker, not a binary broker. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things that attracted me to this, and uh, to, quite honestly, what I'm doing is I'm following, um, you know, Luke's strategy specifically. And I'm going to branch off into some of the other platforms and as, as we go, but I wanted to, first of all, I wanted to see if I could do it. If I could just come in, go through the academy. I took notes on it. I was doing just two hours a day for like three weeks. No more, no less. I blocked it off of my calendar. Everybody here knows I'm busy. And then I started uh, getting on the charts live with Luke and started paper trading until I got to the point where um, I could actually chart myself now. And that's when I'm sending Luke things. These are not, I'm asking, I'm doing it myself charting and then I'm showing him. And I posted you guys today. I had like a, almost a 16,000 gain this morning. That was when I charted myself. And then Luke, you haven't, you didn't see this one, but I, I did this one too this morning, got it up and down. And um, so I was, I was setting trailing stop losses. And so here's the three to one. So you can see here, I, I, I charted this myself, right? It was trading sideways, up, down, up, down, charted the highs and lows. And then it uh, broke out, retested and went, but I kept moving my stop loss manually. And I did it all the way up to here. So this is about a forty thousand dollar gain this morning. And Luke, you didn't you didn't see that one? Uh -uh. Um, and then I started messing with it going down because guess what? It doesn't matter if things are going up or down. It just matters if you can recognize breakouts. So just from the education that Luke's provided, I can see here that there's you know another just like he's doing. He's highlighting when it's moving sideways, resistance points, and it right goes and. Right here, it does that same pattern he's telling you, retest, and then look at this all the way down. So this is all stuff I didn't know two months ago. And so when I started doing this, I said to myself, if I can literally take what he's telling me and learn this, then I would feel comfortable sharing with other people. But the one thing it's not, is not a get rich quick. I show up on all the trading sessions that he's on. I listen to him. He goes through the news. He goes through like world economics. Um, there's certain days you just don't trade at all. And I just really listened, 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 took notes, studied, uh, paper traded. But what I was going to say is I did it for that two hours a day from eight to 10. And I can also do things like check email, prospect. There's a lot of business functions that I can do. Uh, I just don't book calls. So if you can't put time to this to study, you know, like an hour a day, then I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something, it's a learned skill, but it's highly leveraged. Uh, it's nothing for me to pull 10 or 20 K out in the morning. Um, and it's a lot of fun. So if it's something you guys think, you you know, if, if you like things like that, if you're mathematical or if you're um, wanting to learn a skill like that, I think it's, it's a good way to, uh, to kind of supercharge your portfolio. So that's, that's why I felt comfortable having this meeting here today. And then just to piggyback off that, you don't for that two hours or hour and a half, like I'm not on the charts, just like Brian said, I just want to make that super clear. Like you're not staring at the charts, waiting for a move. Like, all right, all right, is it ready? Like, just like Brian said, I, I'm I'm listening to some audios, right? And, and I'm just watching and glancing over. Next thing I know, I'm answering a couple texts and so forth. I, I jump in the shower really quick and brush my teeth, whatever that looks like for you in the morning, because we'll get into the, more of the, the, the education side, but you're not glued to your screen. You're, you're waiting, you know, in increments, you're, basically getting on the, the charts for two or three minutes at eight, two or three minutes at 8.30, two or three minutes at nine. So collectively like active income, if you will, um, would be like 20 minutes a day. You know, you're just blocking out that two hours. So you're not, like I said, you're not actually like glued your, your laptop or computer or whatever have you and so forth. So um, so Robert, I see that you said, you said, I'd like to pull nice profits, but my timing in the market's off. It's probably because you're trying to create the timing instead of letting the markets do what they do and being in a responsive state. That makes sense. And Luke talks about this. You don't want to try to force the market. Some days 
Uh, and we go through probably uh, many, maybe as many as 10 different things from indices to gold to Forex pairs. But there's some days where just nothing lines up. Mm -hmm. You know, there's just nothing that looks that good. And he calls it like, you know, this would be like a C trade. He's like, if you want to risk a little bit or a B plus trade, and he'll he'll uh, he'll sort of advise. He can't tell you what to do, but he'll sort of advise. You know, uh, if you're going to risk, you know, three to make nine, two to make six, one to make three. So you can also minimize risk by looking at the quality of the trade. And it's like if you want to trade, this is a lower quality trade. It might go in the direction, but you risk. Uh, let's say you're doing, you know, three thousand normally. You might want to only risk a thousand. Does that make sense? So he's always talking about that risk reward. Always setting up three to one ratios. But if there's not a trade on a certain day, there's just not a trade on a certain day. You don't enter one. You don't try to make it. So, Robert, more than likely, you're getting emotionally involved and like wanting to make a trade, you know, and that's the part that you got to go through the academy and paper trade long enough to be just not emotional. And I, Robert, I put a, a book in there. It's called Trade in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Talks strictly about psychology, your detachment from the money. And, um, you guys can ask, I'm going to kind of touch on some psychology, kind of shift gears to uh, the charts. Please ask questions if you do, um, do have them. But when it comes to trading, how you view life is a direct reflection of your trading, right? Some of you guys are in the AI and everything. I love slow and steady. I love small wins, single, 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 single. And then ultimately after a few singles, you get, you know, the home run or not the home run, but you, you score a run in baseball. So if you are a, a big gambler, um, you know, back in the day, if you were very, you know, buy everything and then you didn't really have much money to pay your bills, but you splurged on X, Y, Z, I'm very disciplined when it comes to life. And that reflects my trading. So how you're outside of trading or, if, you know, in life, if you have never traded before, that's going to come over to your trading. So if you aren't disciplined, if you, um, if you're greedy with your money, you're going to chase the money and so forth. So that's what I mean about the psychology is I can show you the strategies and the charts, but, you know, are you going to keep blowing an account because you keep over leverage, right? You're up 10% for the day and you keep trading. Now you go to break even, right? And then you take another trade. You're, now you're down 10%, but you were just up 10. And then you're like, okay, well, I, I was up 10%. Then I took another trade. Now I'm at break even. And then you take another trade to get that 10% back. Right now you're down 10%, that's a 20% swing. Then you're like, oh man, if I could just get back to break even, I promise I'll stop trading. Let's get back to break even. <laughs> I don't even want my 10%. Then you go down another 10%, then you're down 20%, right? Then you're like, all right, God, universe, Allah, if I just take this last trade, I'm gonna risk 20% though. I just wanna get back break even. Then you lose another trade. Now you're down to, now you're down 40%. Then you're like, all right, whole account. Let's see if it goes. I'll be done for the week. And then you blow your account. So I've done that once, twice in you know my trading career, if you will. Um, and that's what I'm talking about. The psychology is you got to have a trading plan, you know, and so forth. That's on day two of my boot camp. So I, I just want to make it very clear: is like the charts is going to be easy. The hard part is, is the battle with you, right? You against you in the market, right? Um, are you going to listen to me after the 20th time? Are you going to hop on this session and so forth? So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to kind of get into flow state. Please ask questions if you, you do have them and, um, and, and so forth. So the number one thing, what we're looking for here, and if this is just crazy to you, just let it be crazy. And at some point it'll, it'll make sense. So we have a supply and a demand. All that means is top, bottom, floor, ceiling, support resistance, right? So what we want to do is we want to trap price. I have two different strategies. Every single trade will look the same. Whether it's a breakout like this, we find supply and demand. We find consolidation, which is sideways moving. We're either going to break out to the upside or break out to the downside, right? I do not pick. I do not guess. I trade what I see, right? So in this example, and I'll, and I'll do this a little bit slower for you guys right here. So this is 8 a.m., well, 9 a.m. at this point. And all I'm looking for is it for it to break out. It's called breakout trading, right? Um, I'm in and out. I mean, I, I'm out of this trade within 30 minutes. And once again, even though I'm waiting for this breakout, this is what I'm talking about. Let's go back even a little bit more. 
So just say this is at eight o'clock. Where's eight o'clock? Boom. My, the, the session where I, I start teaching is live. And, you know, I'm teaching, educating, all that, you know, and uh, really just waiting for them to move. So if I wasn't teaching and coaching, right, this is, these are 15 minute candles, right? Boom, right? That now that candle closed, right? I, I'm glancing at my charts. Okay, cool. It didn't break out. We're good. Now I'm, you know, I'm checking a couple emails or something. Another 15 minute passes. Boom, closes. All right, cool. Well, we're not doing anything. So I'll, I'm going to go brush my teeth, do my affirmations, whatever. All right, another 15 minute passes, closes. Boom. Now I get on WhatsApp and, you know, do my business over there, whatever. You know, boom, another 15 minute goes by. Now we're, now we're talking. Now we're talking. It broke out. The candle closed and broke out. So rule one is consolidation, trap price. Rule two is we're waiting for that impulse out, just like this. Push out, pull back. Push out, pull back. Push, retrace. Push, retrace, right? So what we're going to do, um, and, you know, this is called Fibonacci. If it doesn't make crazy sense, it's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take this Fibonacci, right, from the low of the zone <clears throat> to where the candle broke out, right? You see right here, the candle broke out. That's where the uh, the candlestick is, right? The wick, we're not too too important on or highlight where just where the, the body is, right? Then our entry, this is a confirmation, right? So our entry, make this a little bit cleaner. And I give you guys these zones and plays on the session. So if you're like, well, Luke, like, how am I going to learn this the next one in time? Like this is live on the session teaching you guys, right? So you're going to get these moves and markups on the session, right? So now our entry is going to come right about here. So this is exactly what I teach. I'm risking small to make a lot. So I'm risking, in this example, I'm risking a dollar to make uh, three. I'm risking a hundred bucks to make three hundred thousand to make three thousand, etc. All right. So as this plays out, boom. There's our entry. Let's just move this to the side a little bit. Now we have activated this trade. All right, because the point three is the entry, point six is the stop loss, and these are your take profits. Once again, doesn't make sense. It'll make sense in a week once you start and all that. All right, boom. And then literally. It wicks down and comes all the way in 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, I'm out of the trade. 15, maybe 20, we'll just say 30, right? Super long end. Um, 30 minutes, I'm done. But by the time I enter this trade 30 minutes ago, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, all right? I, I, I'm done with the day. I made my, you know, my, took my, um, my, my pills, my, you know, my pre-workout, and then I'm um, off to the gym. And then by the time I get to the gym where I'm doing cardio, it's already took me out of the trade, already made my money, all right? Um, this happens every single morning, right? On Thursday, this happened as well. Let's clean this up. Thursday, 8 a.m., which was the 21st. Let's find the 21st right here. Perfect. So none of this happened. I'm just going to take me. 21st, 8 a.m. So none of this has happened yet. Boom. What did I find? Consolidation. What do we do? The exact same thing. We talk about unconscious competent, right? Doing the same thing over and over, then you don't have to think about it. Like I could be done on these sessions in the morning, five minutes. Here's your chart, but I'm supposed to be on there for an hour. So, um, <laughs> but I could be done so quickly because I, I, I see the zone without even marking it up. It's just there. Right, you're gonna to get to a point just like Brian in, in two months or however long, 45 days, like he's sending me a chart. I'm like, I didn't chart that up. Damn, that looks that's a nice, you know, on the five minute or whatever, because it's repetition over and over. It's learning new language. The charts will start to speak to you. All right. Boom. It breaks out. What do we do? Same exact thing. All right, there's our low. Let's clean this up just a little bit. Boom. All right, there's our low, there's our entry, there's our stop loss. Comes close, reverses, all right? Now we're above the zone, which is good. Another retest, there's take profit one, 
right there activated. Once again, I'm risking small to make bigger. I'm risking a dollar in this trade. Right, I'm risking a dollar to make four dollars and 46 cents. You know, that's 10 grand to make 44 grand, you know, a thousand to make 4,400, whatever math you want to do there. All right. And then obviously it keeps going and going and going and so forth. So that's one strategy. Right. Um, the other strategy is the reversal. All right. And not to do, you know, you don't want to do both until you un <clears throat> really understand um, one of them. But I'm going to break. What was the EU, I think, last week? My phone over there. I think it was NZD. If I remember correctly. NZD CAG? No. Uh, I thought it was the second one up there. No, it was UK, yeah, UCAD. Was it? I remember when you were you were talking about the reversal. It's a longer, it's a longer, yeah, longer, longer swing. Play. There it is. So right here. So we have two different types of plays. All right. So really quick, just to build the Google. Everywhere teaches for it. Well, not everywhere, but forex patterns, right? This is why so many people lose in forex. You go to YouTube or they go to here to Google, and Google will teach you all these patterns: double tops, double bottoms, flags, pennants, triple tops, head and shoulders. All this "quote unquote." I mean, it's bullshit, right? So the elite, right? And a little psychology here: the top, the bankers, Rothschild, Rockefeller, right? They create, you know, they create the Federal Reserve, boom, boom, which owns the banks, right? So if understand that, like the the elite own all the banks in the Federal Reserve. So if if that's you know that that's a true statement. Secondly, on the flip side, when you lose, the banks win. When you win, the banks lose. So why would the elite, the top people, the banks allow information for you to beat them? They wouldn't. They would put out false information for you to think, right, that you're beating them. So what happens is, right, in these diagrams, what they teach right here is when you see a double bottom or a double top comes here, a, w, a double bottom that looks like a W. And they teach you to buy right here on the resistance, right? On the flip side, right? You have it, it's called an M or double top. They teach you to sell right here. So it'll come down. And that happens here and there, you know, 60% of the time, of the time, which is we're like, well, Luke, you know, if it happens above 50%, why, why don't people, uh, why aren't they profitable? It's because all right, the emotions, right? They start over leveraging, they start over trading and they get wrapped in the cycle because no one makes money. Well, the, the, op the opposition don't make money until you enter the trade with commission and spread. So right here we find a double, double bottom. And even really before, just act like this black candle hasn't done there or isn't there yet. Otherwise, I'll just start this over and it'll lose my spot. So here's your double bottom. And so what, what banks do is they see your stop loss. So what they'll do is, you know, the, the retail trader will put their stop loss right here because they'll, they'll buy right here wanting to go up, just like it teaches you on Google and YouTube and, you know, all that. Or people will do breakout, just like I showed you the breakout trading I showed you. But what they'll do is they're lazy, right? Not lazy. They just, they don't want to be on the charts. So what they'll do is called a sell stop or a buy stop. So what brokers do, right? They know well, you're going to put your stop loss right below that wig to give it room to breathe, right? To, if there is drawdown, right? It'll, it'll buffer that, right? So what banks do is they see your stop losses. So they win twice here. They'll drive price to the stop loss, right? Take you out, right? And then secondly, right? Secondly, what they'll do is they'll, uh, on the sell stops, they'll activate those sell stops and then take you out as well. All right, boom, you lost the trade, activate the sell stops, then they'll come all the way up just like that. And, um, there we go. 
And uh, next thing you know, what we want to do is this move here. It's called a stop hunt, which is this is a stop hunt. So what we want to do is do the exact same thing on the breakout, but instead of breakout trading, we want to wait for the stop hunt, right? Takes out all the sellers, right? Or sell stops and takes out the buys that are happening right here. And then it's called a spring, pulls right back in, springs and goes, right? So boom, boom, stop hunt, come back in, retest and go, all right? Watch out, watch how this plays out perfectly. Boom, boom, boom. Takes a second. There's your entry and there's your take profit, just like that. This move happens over and over and over, just like the breakout, right? And I'll do one more example here. This was a really good one last week, maybe two weeks ago, right here. This was beautiful. This is like textbook, you know, and you obviously you join all this. You'll, I'm very good at analogies. And like I said, I'm, 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 I pride myself on teaching um, because it's a skill, like I said, it changed my life, but also like you can be good at trading, right? But suck at teaching. Right. Um, and I've, I've mastered that teaching with analogies and everything. You'll hear me say sexy or ugly a lot, or like Brian said, an A rating, B rating. This is a textbook, picture perfect, beautiful, sexy, amazing setup. Right. What do we have here? We have supply, we have demand, we have a big double, or oh, so this one's a triple bottom. All right. Everybody's going to buy right here. Buy, 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 buy. Because what happened over here? All right. It went up right here. So what, do you, what are they going to do? Is they're, they're going to drive price. Once again, where's your stop loss for the buys? Right about here underneath this wick. Also, right, what are they going to do for the sell stops? Put it right there. All right. So the banks want to win twice. They get double the money. There's your breakout. Almost. There it goes. All right now you just got stopped out. You lose one, two, three percent, and then the sell stops. Like okay, cool. Active or uh, uh, order activated. All right, and they go whoop, and go straight up. In a second, and there it goes. Now we're looking for the retest. And as you saw, boom, boom, boom. There's your retest right there. And this is like Brian said, this is, uh, you might be in the trade, you're not on the charts, you're not, you know, hawking it or anything like that. You're, you set it and you forget it. You put your stop loss if the trade goes bad. And then from there you go run your businesses, travel, whatever. All right. So I'm risking a dollar to make $3 once again. So this took an hour, two, three hours, maybe four hours tops. But once again, you're not, you know, um, you're not staring at your charts, you know, hopefully you're not staring at your, your app while you're, you know, I'm up, I'm down, I'm up, down. You just want to let it go, do its thing, and you're all done. Um, so these are the two strategies, guys. There's a hundred, maybe not hundred thousand, but there's a hundred, maybe even a thousand different strategies. Um, well, and I'll share this with you, then we'll do some Q&A on the strategies and all, everything. What a lot of people, and this is why I almost didn't learn how to trade. Most people would trade like this, right? Uh, EMAs, all right, they got their Bollinger Bands. And there's no there's no knocking, you know, someone that trades like this, it's all perspective. I'm a very bottom line person. When I invest, like I wanna, I kinda wanna know what's going on, but I wanna give whoever money, I wanna know what my ROI, and I wanna know why, well, how, how long, you know? And I don't really need to know every little detail about it. You know, I'm just, here's your money. How long does it take to get an ROI back? What's the monthly, you know, and so, and so forth. So where people are very, um, you know, I have a hard time teaching, like the, the one type of um, psychology that I have a hard time teaching is people that are super, 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 super analytical, right? Um, and, and why being that is because they need to know every little move of what happens, right? So on this move right here, they would be like, well, why did it, you know, ignore the big bands here? So this shot up or shot right down here. Well, why did I don't know why it impulsed up because it, it just did. All you need to know is your entries here, your exits here, you know, and so forth. So if you're a very analytical person, um, you know, in the network marketing field, we call it green, right? 
um, is you need to know every single detail, like my wife, right? She's super analytical. She'll ask, like, when I, I tour a lot, you know, um, and I, I, I'll go, be gone for a month. She's like, well, what city are you going to? What hotel? I'm like, why does it matter what hotel I'm going to be at? Like, all you need to know is I'm going to be at this event. I'm going to be, you know, back on this date. You know, I'm a very bottom line person. So, right, right here, this is how most people trade. You know, they got the RSI, you know, and this helps kind of, but banks don't have all this. You know, I'm teaching you guys how to trade like the banks. All this is for people to kind of, once again, it goes back to the thing about the, um, um, the, the elite, right? If this all really, really, really worked magically, and it works to a certain degree, if this magically was just perfect all the time, then why would they allow it to be out to the general public, to the people that are, you know, this is free indicators, you know what I'm saying? This would be a hundred grand indicator if it was that crazy, so to speak. So, um, so I try to keep it as surface level as possible with also, you know, if some people already on here that are uh, fairly, you know, new and already part of the program, but any questions you guys have over literally anything about when I went over, since I didn't go over, um, I mean, anything at all. Um, question, what if it retests and doesn't go up to three times the, the, you know, the green zone, the top of the green zone that you actually mm -hmm. uh, charted up. Uh, what if it just goes up to two and a half and then comes down again? So that's where you get into like the intermediate slash, slash expert. That's up to you and your psychology. So that's probably one of the hardest things to decipher. And that's why we go over a trading plan on day two of my boot camp. So what are you, what are you happy with? So there's basically a few different ways. One, it goes to you're out of one to say you're going for a one to four and the trades at one to two at that time you have the option to either take your money and run b put your stop loss in, in profit so it's a risk-free trade or three you can take partials 50 percent 80 percent of your trade put your stop loss in profits to protect your trade and then you're you have a rider you know a, a longer uh play if it does go in profit me i'm not trying to roll the dice and get the longer play I get my one and two, my one to three, and I'm done. I have no, um, there's no FOMO, which is fear of missing out. So you got to understand your psych psychology. I've never blown an account or lost a lot of money in trading because my psychology, I've always had money, whether it's the streets or the gym or this, right? I have the greed or had the greed, right? Instead of people wanting more and more and more and more over leverage, over trade, blow an account, I never really made any money, but I also never lost any money because I had the greed that I had this money in my trading account. I didn't want to risk it, right? I would risk 0.25 of a percent to make 0.5 or 0.75, where generally you're supposed to, you're not supposed to, but what I would recommend is risk 1% to make three, 2% to make six, 3% max to make nine. But I never lost any money, but I never made money in the beginning. So you got to figure out what psychology you have, because some people are like, I could have made so much money if I just held my trade. I just should have held it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, like, I don't care. It could have gone for, I could have made a million dollars and I only made a hundred grand or whatever that looks like versus the flip side. Like me, I absolutely hate, you know, when uh, I put my stop loss in profit and it wicks me and, and I make no money and then it takes off. I would rather just take the loss, you know what I mean? Because I know how uh, consistent um, and good my strategy is. So I would just, if it hits my stop loss, it hits my stop loss. If it hits my take profit, it hits my take profit. I don't adjust it. I don't modify it. I just, I just let it do its thing. Good question though. Very good question. Yeah, you definitely develop a feel for that as you, uh, as you build the repetition. And it's, it's so funny how you, you, at first when you're looking at the charts, it looks like, whatever it looks like. And then, but you said you can, it literally starts talking to you after a while yeah, yeah, yeah. and you just yeah. see patterns and uh, you know, it's uh, it's, it's, it's definitely an interesting, it's an interesting game. It's a lot of fun. So yeah. Any last questions, guys, I got I got to jump for a, uh, an eight o'clock, but just a quick question. Do you, what uh, pairs do you trade? Do you uh, a set number or any? Yeah. What? So I go over that in my trading plan as well. What I would recommend is one to three pairs in the beginning, because each pair has a personality. They're going to move at the same time, reject mm -hmm. zones at the same time. Me now, like I trade basically SPX 500 and then um, I, I'll go to my, my re reversal strategy, the, the stop plan and everything. I trade that on a higher time frame. That's more my psychology, uh, but I like to get in and get out as well. So what I would recommend for you is pick one to three 
Um, I trade SPX 500 uh, definitely like most of the time. And I would say like GA a little bit, GA and UCAT on the Forex side. Uh, and then a little bit of gold. So like those three or four pairs for the, uh, how I created my app and, you know, got my, my name for myself, if you will, is I traded gold for a whole year straight, only gold. You know, I went like 92 wins, eight losses, the company created an app with me and all that jazz. So that's how, you know, um, um, I get called Mr. Gold, all these weird names and all that. But <laughs> um, Max, the point is trade one to three pairs um, and, and master those one to three pairs and then branch out. Good question. Quick question. Is it, um, is it better to, to trade on a certain session? Do we want to trade like the Tokyo sec uh, session? Or Definitely London? not Tokyo. Um, there's not much liquidity in Tokyo, unless you're like super scalping, three pips, four pips, uh, maybe 10. So it goes down to your schedule. And that was hard for me, uh, especially when I had a job when I first got started, because the best two sessions is London, which starts at... 3 a.m. Eastern. I'm not up at three. Um, so I trade New York session, which is eight, well, basically 9 a.m. actually, 9 a.m. Eastern. So it depends on your schedule. Maybe you're a night owl, maybe you're on the West Coast or whatever, right? You might be trading London 3 to 5 a.m., which is 12 to 2 Pacific, or you're you could do an overlap, six to eight, five to seven. My strategies are more so between eight and ten. I see. But you can kind of take the same dialogue to a different session and all that do the same rules as uh, trading stock applies to forex like uh, you only have an x amount of trades that you can do during a day i've never traded your... stocks before i don't like stocks <laughs> okay no the answer so. to that is no based on your, it's going to be based on the leverage in your account there's no you can do 100 trades in a day if your account supports oh, yeah, yeah, on the leverage side, I yeah. See. yeah yeah it's it's more about like if you if you get into a play it's a leveraged account your cash will be tied up based on margin. So it's, it's purely a function of the size of the account, not the amount of trades you do. Are there any favorite uh, stock brokers that you guys, and uh, not stock brokers, uh, brokers that you guys use? I like, use uh, FX Sway. Okay. Yeah, there's a handful of them. Um, I, I personally use FX Sway. Awesome, guys. I got to bounce to another meeting. Uh, if anybody has any questions, um, obviously, you can get with me. I can get you in touch with Luke. If, uh, if you want to take a deeper dive in the academy or how to uh, sign up, we can do that. And uh, if nothing else, hopefully you get some good education here today on, on uh, another potential revenue stream. So until next time, God bless. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Thanks Luke. Guys. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks, Thanks Luke. guys. Bye.